I'm not sure if it's an exciting selection or even really a scandalous one. It's just kind of seems expedient. I don't know if he's going to be the right right person. Vance began serving in the Senate in 2023 and is widely known for his 2016 memoir, The Hillbilly Elegy. The New York Times bestseller was made into a feature film in 2020. Vance was also known to be a staunch critic of the former president. Today, these voters shared their thoughts on the pick. Voter Megan LaBeth, who is passing through Lafayette on a bike tour, questions Vance's choice of becoming a VP candidate with a person he previously criticized. He's a man that if he's that easily flipped, you know, to to run and be his running mate now. It's kind of interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Lafayette resident Devin Sullivan, on the other hand, isn't surprised by the choice. He sees it as a way for Vance to further his career. You want as much political power and sway as you can, and being vice president is one of those ways. Devin thinks this pick will help Trump appeal to different voters. I think it makes sense to kind of pick a running mate that maybe can expand your base. Megan says no matter who you think is the better candidate, it is crucial that everyone goes out and votes this November. It's dire that we, we get out and vote and to see a change. J.D. Vance is scheduled to speak tonight during night three of the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Marguerite Incardoni, Star City News, Lafayette.